Oh, it's another nice day in the garden apiary. So I'm going to have a look at these bees. And do you know what? I'm pretty sure that they're going to be swarming. Or well, thinking about swarming. So I think I might have to do some swarm control. So if I find signs of swarming today, I'm going to do the Pagden method today. Uh, such a nice day. I haven't bothered with a bee suit. But uh, I've got the smoker. But you see, the bees are already flying. Here they are. They're going in and out. In and out to the hive here. Um, so let's go, let's go and have a look. What's happening? Yeah. Off. Crumbled off. Bees in there. Yep, they're all working away in the super. That's good. I'm not really interested in the super, so I'll just put it over here just now. Take the queen excluder off. Seal brood, very nice. Very nice. Uh, and now, oh, I tell you, something's just something's just caught my eye there. Something just caught my eye. Uh, I, think, I think there's a seal, seal queen cell on this frame. Yeah. Ah, oh, well, just as I thought. Uh, these are these are going to swarm. I hope the queen's still in here. Since that. Cell's been sealed so they could go any time and swarm. But there's still a lot of bees in here, so I'm gonna keep going. Look in. Uh, here's some more, here's some more brood. Uh, what have we got here? Aha, aha. Here's the queen. Here's the queen, that's good. So she hasn't swarmed the old queen here in the brood, so this is this is really good. Um yeah, so what I'm gonna do, cage, cage the queen here. I should have done this first of all, I meant to, and now I've forgotten. But I meant to, before I started my inspection, I was going to move this box over here. Before I even started. I'm going to put it over here. And so all the bees that are flying in and out, they're going to come, come back, there's not going to be any home there for them. So that's a bit of a puzzle for them. So. In the Pagden method, we're going to need a new brood chamber, so we might as well put it on. We might as well put it on this old floor. So I've got, I've got a brood chamber all made up. It's got, it's got mostly foundation in it. I have got some some drawn comb, which is better. I've filled up. It's basically an empty box, though. And now I'm going to take one frame out in the middle here. A gap in the middle. Now while I'm footering about here, the bees that are in this box, they've started to fly in. They're still working away. Here they go. They're flying out of here. They're going away. And then when they come back, they're going to come back here. They're going to come back where their old home was. So, if I'd been a bit more patient and I'd moved my box over here and had a cup of tea for five minutes, a lot of the bees in here would have flown out and gone in here. And then it would have been easy, easier for me to find a queen. But anyway, I found a queen. She's quite easy to find. Here she is. And she's got some brood on there, but I, I have to check that there's no queen cells on here. I've really got to be careful about that. So I'll just... Check all around the edges. No queen cells. Uh, do you see any queen cells? No. Okay. So the queen and the frame she's on are going in the middle of this empty brood box. There. Almost foundation. There's an actual bee trying to get in. More than one bee, you see? So the bees are want to go home. So as I said, they're flying all the time, they're flying out of here. carry on doing that. So, um, that's good. So I've got my queen here, um, and I think I can 
and just clean her up again. Put the strippers back on. Ground board. Roof. She'll just get on with it. She's got a lot less. She's not got any brood in there now. She is going to have the flying bees and any bees that were in the comb and in the supers. They're going to be in there with the queen. So what have we got over here? Well, we've got our food stores. That's good. Got sealed brood, so there'll be young bees coming out there. We've got this sealed queen cell here. Now, um, it's not a virgin queen come out of this yet, but um, she will do. But I don't, I don't really want this just now. I'll tell you why later. So I'm going to knock this down. See so I'm going to get rid of that. That way. Let's see what else we've got in here. No brood, no queen cells. Stay. Now here's an open queen cell. Here's one that's not been sealed yet, and it looks quite nice. So um, that's good. I like the look of that. I'm looking for my pin. I'll put it in another box, but never mind. I'll make a wee mark on here. So here's a here's a nice open queen cell that I'll look for the next time. Next not a spot. Some sort of here's another sealed queen cell. Again, I, I don't want I don't want these virgins to come out because and have them flying out this box because in a week's time I'm going to move this box. And I don't want virgin queens to get lost. Lots of bees in there, working away. And no more queen cells in there. So, what you need to do is take the one frame that we took out of here to put the queen's frame in, and that means we can fill up this box again. We're not going to give them super, but I think we're, they're going to need some extra food. So, we've got a feeder here. Nice big feeder. Like that, just fill up the syrup, put it over the feed hole. So they're going to get some food. We're going to need an extra box, which I've forgotten about. <laughs> so that's the first part of my manipulation. But I'm going to have to come back seven days later. So now the bees that were flying out of here have stopped flying out of here. Because the the young ones there have recognised their own home. Um, so lots of bees flying out of of this one. Lots of our bees flying in and out of this one because they're all the foraging bees. This one, there's not so many, but there's still some. They, they recognise their own home over here now. Because um, the ones that recognise that home have flown in there. The new ones that are hatched orientate themselves to this position. So they're flying in and out like this. Now, um, there's still a chance that this colony might swarm. So this is why I've come back seven days later. So we're going to have to go through this hive again and check out what's happening in the way of queen cells. Either on, turn that off. Go here. Here. Good. Good. And now you see what. See what they've done. Yeah, they've made emergency cells. They make emergency cells in the middle of the brood nest rather than being at the corners. These are a bit at the corners, these ones. But, uh, and there's not too many of them either. Um, so these bees have made emergency cells um, to bolster them up because I just left them that one open queen cell. So they've made some more of these. Which is fine. Um, but I'm, I want to look for 
the one that I left because um, it was a good one. It's a good sewn cell. These emergency cells, they because they're done in a hurry, they're not necessarily getting all the food that they could have, so the queens might not be as good to coming out of them. Here's my frame that I marked that had the queen cell on it. Um, it was an open queen cell, but now it's <laughs> now it's closed up, and it looks nice as well. So this is the one I'm going to leave. I've still got my little pin on here to show me which one it is. So this queen cell I'm going to leave in here, and I'm going to go back to those other ones, those emergency ones, and get rid of those. Like that. And I'm going to go through here. There's any more queen cells, and if there are, I'm going to take them away. So I've just left that one queen cell left in there, and these bees can't make any more queen cells because the larvae are too old now. So I've just got one queen cell in here, but that's going to be my new virgin queen. So hopefully there was one, but I might have missed a queen cell. So I don't know. It's always possible. So. Um, and also they, these could build up as well um, quite quickly. So I'm going to do another manipulation now. I'm going to put this box. Yep, and I'll close it up. Feed on later. And now I'm going to my back. I'm going to lift this whole thing. Over here. Now, what's going to happen to these bees that were flying out here? Come back here. What will these bees do? They come back, there's no hive here. Well, what they'll do is they'll sort of go a bit wider and wider, and they'll probably come across this hive here. And if they've been out foraging and they've got honey stores, the guard bees in there. They'll let them in, almost certainly. So all the bees that were out before I did this manipulation, and also the ones that are now flying from here, the ones that will start to fly from here, well they'll go out and they'll try and go back over here. But there's no hive there, so again they'll circle around and they'll come across this one and they'll probably go in there. So what we've done here is we've, we've lost some more foraging bees from this hive and we've supplemented this hive with a queen in it so it can hopefully get going quite strongly because we know this one's going to be left now for the virgin to get mated and start laying. So any chance of getting honey out of that hive is much of her. We might still get some, but we'll put our, put our eggs in this basket. Um, so, so these flying bees are going to supplement this one, and this one's going to lose more foragers, but it's fine. Um, it will get by. And that's us done at our Pagden's manipulation. So again, that, that was quite easy, wasn't it? <laughs>